Happy News Day, oil traders. It is 8.51 a.m. here on the East Coast of North America. We're just over uh, or just under 40 minutes away from the markets open. And uh, it is News Day. Um, we should get uh, EIA inventory news uh, for crude and gasoline um, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Uh, we got API news at 4.30 yesterday, and um, we did drop a little bit on the news event itself and then retrace back up. Basically, it was a non-event. Um, nothing really happened based on API news. Um, it's irrelevant what was said. I don't really care. Nothing happened, so it doesn't matter. Um, EIA will be the, uh, the definitive um, catalyst for whatever it is that's going to happen for the remainder of the week. Um, as as we can see, we've basically been holding within a range of about a high of 48.20 yesterday and a low of, uh, what was that, 47, 47.30-ish, 47 uh, 47.36 or so. Um, basically, we didn't drop low enough, we didn't climb high enough, and we've basically been stuck at around where we are right now, 47.70. Um, all day or all afternoon at least yesterday um, as you know I've been waiting to repurchase my short above 48 or repurchase my long at or below 47 um, and we although we did get over 48 yesterday we didn't hang on there for very long at all I think it was literally seconds um, well probably minutes actually um, but the volatility um, at that time was very, very um, high and uh, basically we, we volleyed above and below 48 uh, quite frequently and quite rapidly. And basically I didn't, I kind of wanted things to settle before I made a call. And once things did settle, we were back to where we started and I didn't have a play. So that's what I'll do today. Uh, basically going to wait to see what happens leading up to the news event at 10.30. I do expect some volatility um, after the market opens and before 10.30. So we should see something, or I, I, at least I expect to see something, whether that's uh, closer or above 48 or down to 47-ish uh, area. Um, I, uh, I'll uh, be entering my orders if we do get to any either of those. Um, two target ranges uh, for uh, purchasing either the short or the long. Um, I don't expect you know anything really that much more dramatic to happen before news. Um, I think the really dramatic stuff will happen after the news obviously but uh, yeah that's that's that. Um, I see that I didn't finish my thought here. Uh, as for post news after 10:30, let me type that in. Uh, I will be patient. Um, basically, I'm going to wait to see where things settle, just as I tried to do yesterday unsuccessfully, and um, kind of decide what to do closer to Europe's closing at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, that'll give us an hour of trading activity after news and before Europe closes, and kind of see where things settle there. Um, I do have a short, as you may know, at 47.15. Um, so if we do drop following the news, um, I'll be looking to sell at least that one short position. And uh, yeah, that's that. Basically, more than likely, I'm going to be buying something, and hopefully I'll be selling a short if we do drop. Um, but that's that's my game plan for today, news day. Um, let me know what you guys have in mind. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards end of trading day at 4 p.m. Eastern here on the East Coast. Until then, good luck. Cheers.